When we are traveling, we try to do everything that we can to really maximize our trips. This means planning hikes and activities that are in close in proximity to each other so we can really get the best bang for our buck. Since the Birthing Cave Trailhead is less than four tenths of a mile from the Mescal Trailhead, which is the route we use to get to Devil's Bridge, it definitely fits the bill. The trail is really quite straightforward with the exception of one spot. There is a fence with an arrow on it that you can see right here. If you follow the arrow, you will be continuing on the Long Canyon Trail. But if you're trying to get to the Birthing Cave, which I assume you are because you're watching this video, you need to make a left here. The trail up to this point has been fairly mild with a slight uphill grade the entire time, but it's about to get a whole lot steeper. Shoes with good tread are extremely important here. Not only is this hill super steep, it is slippery as well. Several members of our group, me included, slipped and fell on our way up the hill. Once you reach the top of the hill, you are at the birthing cave. Please note that this is a sacred place. Please be sure to be respectful and keep your voices down. And it shouldn't even need to be said, but please be sure to pack any trash out with you. The view from the birthing cave is absolutely amazing and it is totally worth a hike that only comes in around two miles round trip. You're gonna need to take your time as you make your way back down the hill from the cave. The trail seemed like it was almost more slippery on the way down and it is also lined by cacti that I doubt you wanna go flying into. Once you reach the bottom of this steep section, the rest of the trail is an absolute breeze because it's a slight downhill all the way back to the car. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we make a new video. Follow us over on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official. And for all the information about this hike as well as other awesome things to do in the Sedona area, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.